comments about violent dogfighting taking place, even the case of a pit bull attack in Kentland just last weekend. Their owners say they've gotten a bad rap. Today, they did something about it. Fox 17's Dan Krause shows us why their owners say appearances can be deceiving. Good boy. Good boy, yeah. Meet Brody, Ellie. She likes to sleep, and she snores when she sleeps. You were so you cutie pie. And Howie, three of about a hundred pit bulls who showed up to Lamar Park in Wyoming today with their owners. They say they've gotten a bad rap. Sometimes it makes me sick how quickly people judge them. They'll, they're automatically assumed that they're, they're bad dogs. When you hear pit bull, people think killer. That's why, together, a handful of owners organized the first ever pit bull awareness walk. A chance for the public to see they can be friendly animals. Michigan has one of the highest rates for dog banning. It's extremely hard to own a pit bull in Michigan and not be looked at as a dog fighter. It's also difficult for animal shelters to find them homes. Out of 600 pit bulls that go into shelter, national average across the United States, one of them will make it out into a home. Katie Myers with the Kalamazoo Animal Rescue says the animals aren't born mean. It's their owners who make them that way. It's all about how they're raised. Most shelters do tests on pit bulls before putting them up for adoption. So they do things similar to this. They blur, 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 pull on their face and he just gives kisses. They'll even take their paw and mess with their paws. People here today also sign petitions trying to stop pit bull bans in various counties throughout the state. They're asking people to punish the deed and not the breed. That's something we want to change. We want the public to see what these dogs really are. They're just the same as any other breed. It's the, it's the way the owner raises them. In Wyoming, Dan Krauth, Fox 17 News.